Off-Road Odyssey is presented by Rockford Fosgate. What's up, I'm Alexa Score, and welcome to Off-Road Odyssey. On this show, we're gonna take you off the beaten path to some of the coolest riding spots on the planet. Our first episode is all about the dunes. Riding in the sand is different than any other terrain, but being in the dunes isn't just about riding, it's a lifestyle. And there's no better place to show you what it's all about than off-road heaven, Glamis. Drive two hours east of San Diego, and this is what you'll see. One hundred and fifty thousand acres of sand, but not just any sand. This is Glamis, aka off-road paradise. Over a million riders come to this iconic destination every year. They come from all over the world, but it wouldn't be a party without these two. Off-road pros R.J. Anderson and Casey Curry. I would say in just the past 12 years or so, I've come to Glamis. This is probably around my 20th trip. Good spot to come with all my friends. For me, what made Glamis so special is, I mean, I've been coming here since I was a baby. My dad came since he was a baby, and uh, my grandpa was into it. So for me, this is just what we do as a family. All right, boys, take us into the dunes. Our first stop is the iconic Oldsmobile Hill. Oldsmobile Hill, we just got here. This looks like just as much of a party as it is like a riding spot. It's pretty wild out here. I would say this is the riding spot to the party. So you actually got that right. Welcome to Oldsmobile. It's just kind of the fun hangout family spot. It's the one gathering, whether you're parked at Gecko or in the washes, it kind of is the center point, the one big hill where everyone can come hang out and put on a show. You can enjoy the hill however you want. Ride as a passenger, park and hang, or hop in the driver's seat. I mean, what's the feeling for people that have never done it? What's it like screaming up that hill? So Oldsmobile, like, it's known for the big whoops at the bottom. So when you're getting speed, your car has to work good. So a good set of fog shocks for me. You gotta have power. It's, it's, it's steep, it's sandy, it's, it's super soft. So the enjoyment is just holding it wide open and knowing you're not gonna have any problems. This place was insane, but what's next? We're down on the hill. We're gonna go get in some dunes, go have some fun, do some ripping find some nice bowls and see what we can get ourselves into uh, trouble in the uh, bigger dunes. That works for me and we'll follow you guys. Let's go. I don't know what I just signed up for, but let's ride. The best part about the sand dunes is there's no trail. It's, what, 20 miles by about six or eight miles wide and it's just endless sand dunes. To me, it's like surfing. It's just about the flow. It's how smooth you can make the ride. How fast you can go without no abrupt stops. It's just this momentum game that just makes it unbelievable. One of the coolest things about the dunes is that they're constantly changing. Thanks to the elements, this bowl will never be the same. Just showing off. This is insane. I gotta hitch a ride with one of these guys. This looks very fun. Casey, 
Casey, what do you think? We go for a spin? Uh, I can trust you, right? Well, I want to go that far. <laughs> we'll try. All right. We're still learning. Nice knowing you. <laughs> How was it? That was fun. That fun? I like that. Now let's do that for hundreds of miles. Heart's pumping. That was good. You're an okay driver, you know? Dune culture isn't just about riding. Hanging at camp is half the fun. When the sun goes down, the party turns up. And all day you drive UTVs, all night you hang out at the campfire. And it's a community. Everyone's here for the same reason. So to see thousands upon thousands of people is pretty crazy. We're just getting started. More to come when we get back on Off-Road Odyssey. It's a unique experience. Off-Road Odyssey is sponsored by Rockford Fosgate, purpose-built audio. Motorcycle gear, no matter what you ride, MotorcycleGear.com has the gear you need. Aluma Trailers, ready to ride when you are. Murdoch's Ranch and Home Supply, your one-stop shop for all things DeWalt. And by Onyx Off-Road, your number one off-road mapping and navigation app. trail at Glamis. Once you're off it, you're on your own. But if you're lucky like me, you might just bump into a couple of pros who can show you around. My name is Tanner Faust. I've been racing cars for 25 years now. When you show up at the dunes, First thing is you feel like you're on a different planet. I think it's kind of more like flying than it is driving. If you're spinning tires, you're falling with the sand. And you're just going with gravity everywhere you go. It's kind of this amazing feeling of floating. And this is my first time in Glamis and uh, it's a unique experience and something that everybody should probably try. Lake Wilkie, on the other hand, basically grew up here. What's up? I am Blake Sebastian Wilkie, and some call me Shreddy. I basically thrash everything, from boats to razors to trucks to buggies, Baja bugs, Jeeps, and uh, enjoy every second of it. I mean, this place was special to my parents. I was raised out here, so it's special to me and a lot of my friends. Glamis is the ultimate sandbox. Uh, I've been to many other places, halfway across the world even, and just the ambiance here is unbeatable. Riding with the pros is seriously rad. But if you agree to follow Blake in the dunes, hold on tight. I would say Alexa, did about a seven on the way here. You know, she's got knobbies. She was giving her all, a little timid, only had to stop once to figure out the line, which was follow me, but. Uh... I'd say, yeah, after, after maybe a little bit more dooning right now, she, she might move up to like an 8.5. Sounds like I have some work to do. In the meantime, let's check out one of Blake's favorite spots. All right, Blake, you've been here a number of times. This is my first time. I have no idea where we are. This is Sunset Hill. 
Basically, right next to Osborne Lookout, where some of the biggest, fastest, flowiest dunes are. So this is like a meeting spot where sunset, hundreds of cars will line up here and it turns into like a small camp hangout where everybody just relaxes and watches the sunset right over the mountain. And you've been here how many times? Oh, I mean, I've been coming here since I was a naked baby rolling around in the sand, so. You came, you were born of the sand. Sunset Hill is stellar, but it's time to head to our next stop. During sunset, you got the drags. The way my mom taught me was when there's two fists on the horizon at arm's length, that's when you head to the drags. New or old to the dunes, the sand drags are something you have to see. Woo! Every night at sunset, hundreds of machines line up for an all-out free-for-all. Side-by-sides, dune buggies, sand rails, quads, you name it, it's go time. No arm drops here, just show up and send it. This is like nothing I have ever seen before. I'm not even doing it, my, my heart's pumping. New or old to the dunes, the drags are something you have to see. It's been one hell of a trip. But before we leave Glamis, I have some unfinished business to take care of. I mean, we're here at Old Mobile Hill. I've never been to Glamis before. I'm watching all these guys climb it, and it's my first time. I gotta do it. We gotta descend it. like the drags and olds, to free riding and partying at camp, Glamis is a one of a kind. You just gotta go explore and make memories with your friends. That's the favorite part for me. Next up, we hit the beach and throw some sand at the surf. It's a Pacific Northwest gem that'll blow your mind. Off-Road Odyssey is sponsored by Shock Therapy, your premier suspension tuning company. Cargo Max, the only utility trailer in the sports car category. Amsoil, engineered for what you drive. And by FlowFast, the ultimate portable fluid transfer system. Off-Road Odyssey. Today's episode is all about sand, and what better place to find it than the beach? We're headed to the Oregon coast. You can find dunes all across the United States, but there are very few places you can ride right on the beach. Coos Bay in southwestern Oregon is a hidden gem. Our area is the largest riding area. It's the most diversified. We have the largest beach riding area where you can drive down along the Pacific Ocean, see wildlife. The Oregon Dunes Recreation Area spans over 30,000 acres of southwest Oregon and nearly 40 miles of coastline. You have over six and a half miles of just open beach to drive on. You get to see all types of stuff out there. You can see ships, you can see sea lions out in the morning on the beach. No sea life yet, but the view makes up for it. 
from here south to Cape Area, we sit on the farthest point of the continental United States here. A lot of people don't realize that when you're on our beach, you're actually closer to Hawaii than when you're in Los Angeles. So I had no idea I was gonna get this beach day out of uh, an Gorgeous. Oregon trip. Isn't it? So this is nice. better than California. Seriously, I know. You guys just didn't tell me to bring my surfboard. There's nobody out here. We got we got wood out here. You can surf some trees That's if you want. That's true. That would be very Oregon. <laughs> After logging some beach time, we head a few miles up the coast to Winchester Bay. This is definitely the place I enjoy the most. There's a lot more just big hill climbs here. A lot of tree shots where you drop down in, into the trees, into the forest, and then straight out a lot of hills, and one in particular that's earned a reputation. Winchester, you have Banshee Hill, which we're at the top of. It's kind of a hill climb, everybody likes to set and race up it. Banshee Hill is a gnarly sandy hill climb through winding trees, followed by a steep descent. Naturally, you gotta conquer Banshee Hill to be initiated into the Oregon Dune Squad. Let's get it. These guys weren't jumping in any rigs to go up Banshee Hill, so we're... <laughs> I was just hoping that we weren't gonna have to go help back down. <laughs> It's official, I'm in. It's Mother Nature. We have probably one of the most unique areas in the world where we have a rainforest and we have a desert and a beach all combined. From the Pacific Northwest to the Southwest, more dunes to come when we get back on Off-Road Odyssey. Today we've thrown sand all over the country, but this next trip is one of the most unique riding days we've ever had. Check this out. San Hollow State Park in the southwest corner of Utah is an off-road playground. Rock climbs, red clay, big vistas, and sand dunes. And if you're really lucky, you might just catch it on the one day a year that it snows. It's cold out here today. Okay, so some people might consider the weather unlucky. My toes are already cold. Yeah, we haven't even started riding yet. But I think that's all about to change. I love this place. I've never been here when it's this cold. Nothing some hand warmers can't fix. Hand warmers, that's it. Staying warm, trying. These were a lifesaver. These hand warmers, you throw them in your gloves, that was a pro tip, I'd never done that before. They were the savior for the strip. <laughs> Thanks, oh, perfect. It's like, I'm thinking I'm on a ski slope right now. 
cruising in the dunes, in the snow. I just don't even know what to say. It was just unbelievable. I've seen photos, but I've never experienced it in person. Fortunately, I got to be in the lead and the first one to make tracks. From someone from Arizona, riding out in the snow has been quite the adventure. But it has been great. I love it. The dunes here aren't as big as they are other places. But right now, I don't think anyone cares. Riding the, the snow with the sand, it was just a crazy combination. There was nobody out in the dunes. We had the place to ourselves. Yeah, we took advantage of it. All the fresh tracks and smooth dunes. And we just tore it up in every way. It was epic riding, for sure. From sunny sand to sand in the trees to snow-covered sand, riding in the dunes is something you gotta check off your bucket list. Thanks for riding with us. Until next time, get out there and get off-road.